Hello Cancer, thank you so much for watching this video. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Uh, this will be a love reading. It's going to focus on the person that you are thinking about at this time. Uh, it'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Feel free to check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate. Um, your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus. All right, so let's get right into it, Cancer. For Cancer, please spare in regards to love. What does Cancer need to know when it comes to love spirit? What does Cancer need to know? What do we need? What do we need to know? Starting off with, oh, okay, the Ten of Swords reversed. This is a good, good card to get reversed. Uh, it pretty much means overcoming or healing from a betrayal or a difficult ending. Um, this is someone who the, the worst has already happened and now they're ready for a new beginning here. What else for cancer? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented on the videos. I read all of your comments. And I really appreciate your support. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the readings. Let's see what else. Ooh, the Hermit. Virgo Energy. So someone here has withdrawn um, to figure something out. They've gone on their own personal journey here to listen to their inner voice, seek guidance. Um decide on what to do next. This could also be someone that feels a bit isolated due to what's going on. What else for Cancer? I am going to clarify all of these. Oh, we got the Emperor. Aries energy here. Taking back control of a situation. Stability. Order. feeling powerful. So I'm getting the sense that what I'm seeing here is, is sort of a progression. Someone overcoming a difficult situation, withdrawing to figure out their next journey, their next path, and then feeling strong enough, decisive enough, powerful enough to make a decision or take action. Let's see. Anything else for Cancer? Three of Swords reverse, definitely healing here. Some of you are dealing with a third party situation. Some sort of third party interference here. It does not have to be another romantic partner. It could just be anything that's interfering in a connection. So that could be distance, family, friends, etc. It also means healing. And I think I'm really I'm really getting that energy of healing because this is right under the Ten of Swords. I think they're connected. You might have felt betrayed by someone with a third party energy. Um, or maybe you were in a third party situation and felt betrayed. And now you're healing from that. Two of Swords. I knew this hermit was about figuring something out. You're trying to figure out, see how this, in this deck in particular, I love it because she is at a fork in the road here. She could go either way. She's also blindfolded, so you might really not know what to do. What else for Cancer? What else? What's this Emperor about? Let's see if we can get some... More insight here. Four of Pentacles. So holding back, guarding something valuable, holding on to something. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Seven of Swords reverse. My goodness. Someone here got caught doing something. Either you caught someone or they caught you. But this is a big reveal here with the Seven of Swords reverse. This is someone literally getting caught red-handed, caught in the act. Um, someone trying to 
be deceptive, someone trying to sneak away, avoid a situation, and they weren't able to succeed. All right, Cancer, let's get into this. Let's find out what this is, what these energies are all about for Cancer. Please. Help me clarify these energies, please, Spirit. This deck is too thick for me to shuffle easily for Cancer, Spirit. Help me clarify these, please. What does Cancer need to know regarding love? Okay, this is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot that I'm using here. Let's start with this Ten of Swords Reverse Spirit. Please tell me about this Ten of Swords Reverse for Cancer. Please tell me about that. Thank you. Oh, we got the Empress Reversed. One of the first cards that came out here. This is someone, this card for me is the Jilted Lover card. So someone who is uh, smothering, controlling, and unstable. Um, this Empress, when she's reversed, she tends to invest or put energy in the wrong thing. Um, her intuition is blocked. Bad partner, bad parent. Or just someone very upset, feeling like they were betrayed here. Eight of Wands reverse. So this is um, some sort of block in communication, lack of communication, or lack of movement, or or kind of like an abrupt uh, stop to movement here. And then this card came out like this. So I'm just going to flip it and leave it like this. Knight of Pentacles. So... I feel like this has to do with some sort of offer or beginning of a commitment. This is a uh, an opportunity that never got a chance to either be offered or never got a chance to really take root. Knight of Pentacles, whether he's upright or reverse for me as a reader, still makes it to his destination. Um, he's just very delayed. However, with this Ten of Swords reverse and this Empress reverse, I get the feeling that whether this knight makes it or not is not going to matter. I'm picking up the energy of someone that's not going to be waiting for them. Bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Cups reversed. So... This card, this could mean somebody, okay, okay. Walking away for a new beginning. Ace of Wands right behind that with the King of Cups behind that. So a lot of love here. Someone's probably going after someone they care about. But the Seat of Cups reverse, it could mean that someone's returning to you. Someone who left is returning. Or it could also mean someone's unable to leave a situation. To have their new beginning we'll see what else we get here but i just get the sense that because of a lack of movement or communication because of a blockage here this knight of pentacles it's almost like it's too late or this empress is not going to be it's not going to be open to this we'll see tell me about this hermit Tell me about the hermit, please. Why is the hermit here? The answer. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Bad luck, bad timing. Something didn't work out and this hermit went to figure it out. Tell me more about the hermit. Oh, see? There's the moon reverse, which is very similar to this seven of swords reverse. This is uh, an illusion that has burst. Like this is something that has come out 
uh, a secret that has been revealed, a mystery that has come to light. Um, when the moon is upright, something is not as it seems. Something is confusing. Something is foggy. Something is not right. You know, you, you feel like something's not all there. And so when it's reversed, it's almost like that illusion was, was forced to be shattered by something. A secret probably came up, came to light here. Someone got caught with something. Pisces energy there, by the way. Then we got the two of uh, pentacles here. Now this hermit is thinking, what am I going to do with this information? What am I going to do with this reveal that turned out to be completely unfortunate? The star reverse at the bottom, we have Aquarius energy here. This is someone who has lost faith, lost hope, needs to heal. This hermit might think that this whole situation is hopeless. This could be you, Cancer, thinking that you've lost hope or faith in someone or vice versa. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Tell me about this emperor. Tell me about the emperor, please. What's this emperor doing here? Ah, Ace of Swords. This emperor is thinking of communication, clearing the air, a new beginning, cutting away what no longer serves them, starting with a fresh, clean slate here. Tell me more about the Emperor. Thank you. Ooh, King of Wands reverse. This Emperor might be cutting out this King of Wands reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. This King of Wands reverse, not, not the best person to be dealing with. This is someone who is reckless, takes unnecessary risks, is flighty, non-committal, doesn't finish what they start energy, doesn't, they only care about manipulating people to get what they want. They don't care about the consequences of their actions. I could go on. Knight of Cups at the bottom here, uh, reverse, which tells me this is a manipulative energy, this King of Wands reverse. Tend to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but doesn't have to be. Could be anybody in your life or in the person that you're interested in, their life. Whew. Five of Swords reverse. My goodness. Someone didn't get away with their manipulation. This Emperor saw, I guess they realized it with this Moon reverse and the Seven of Swords reverse. They know what they have to do. Cancer, if this is you, you know what you have to do. You have to cut this out. This is a, a terrible fight, a loss. Someone here was not able to win or take advantage of the situation. And again, I have that Knight of Cups reverse. All right, let's go down to this Three of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Three of Swords reverse down here. Tell me about this Three of Swords reverse, please. Thank you. Ten of Swords. I feel like this was a betrayal. Someone, it felt like someone took advantage of you, lied to you, stabbed you in the back. Tell me about this Three of Swords, please. Page of Swords. Someone wants to talk. Someone could be watching you as well, or you're watching someone else. What else can you tell me about this Three of Swords? For Cancer, please. Seven of Wands. Someone here could have blocked a person from communicating with them. Because I got these, I'm seeing these two cards here. I'm seeing someone that wants to communicate and someone that's like very guarded and defensive. I see someone who is trying to be brave so that they can deal with this painful situation. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands reverse. This is someone, again, who is player energy, doesn't commit, doesn't want to commit. If they do commit, is for a very short time because then that way they can get what they want. Tell me about this Two of Swords. What's the decision here? 
Tell me about this Two of Swords, please. So what I see here so far is something that wasn't able to manifest, something that was a terrible ending here, an opportunity, a commitment that has not been able to to be like play out. I feel like this hermit energy figured something out. There was a secret revealed, something they discovered, and now they're trying to decide what to do next. And I feel like whatever they discovered, it had to do with someone trying to take advantage someone trying to manipulate the situation and it didn't work and now they're going to cut everything out here and someone wants to talk to them either you want to talk to someone or someone wants to talk to you and you're going to be hitting some sort of opposition here because someone's not going to be open to this communication at least not right away tell me about this two of swords the chariot reversed Cancer energy here. A new direction. So this hermit is choosing a new direction. I'm just saying this hermit because this is this is the person that is withdrawn and wanting to figure this out. It could be you or the person you're dealing with. Tell me more about this two of swords. Page of Pentacles reversed. Again, uh something that was this is a, someone that's lazy doesn't finish what they start same energy here with the king of wands reverse doesn't have the resources the finances to offer anything there's stress there's anxiety there's possibly guilt here sleepless nights about this decision yeah someone's losing hope here they might feel the situation is hopeless they might still need to heal Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. What's this Four of Pentacles doing here? What's this Four of Pentacles doing here, please? Ooh, we got an Ace of Pentacles, a big opportunity here. I feel like someone has been waiting for this. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Ace of Cups reversed. Very interesting. It's almost like someone let go of a of love in order to go after an opportunity, or regardless of the disappointment and the heartbreak there's an opportunity here tell me more please for this four of pentacles tell me more please for this four of pentacles this could have to do with finances too four of swords reversed so what i'm getting here someone has kept this to themselves someone's been planning saving guarding them their secrets um working behind the scenes here and it's for this for this opportunity for a new beginning bottom of the deck here i have the queen of wands this is someone that takes action what's behind her yep this Queen of Wands is going after a new beginning. And they're not telling anybody about this. They've kept this to themselves. They might be ready to talk now, but they haven't been talking to anybody before, before this. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. I'm so curious. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Someone's doing this because they have emotion or love for someone. Nine of Pentacles reverse at the bottom here with the Three of Swords reverse and the Star reverse. These are the, we keep getting this Star reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse is someone who's still attached, not independent. They're insecure.
Very interesting. Someone in this third party situation is not free, is still attached. If this is not a third party for you, this is someone, this Queen of Cups is someone who is dependent or lacking confidence because they're still healing from a situation that was hopeless. But they're still in love. And even though this has been a heartbreaking situation, they're going to get their, their Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be financial. They're dealing with someone that doesn't want the situation to end, doesn't want the party to end here. But I think that's not going to work out. Remember when I said, whenever this knight ends up making it, someone's not going to listen to him? Or, you know, don't worry, don't focus so much on the gender, but I feel like this knight, you know, he could be, this knight could take his sweet time to get here to this Ace of Pentacles. But I don't think anything has changed. Like, I don't think they have changed. Because I still have a Three of Swords reverse here. I still have the Star reverse. I have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. This is st instability, lack of hope, lack of faith, lack of healing. And a third party situation. So it's almost like then there's somebody still attached. And then I have the Knight of Cups here reverse, which is one of the worst knights to get. Because they just say whatever they want to get you to listen to them. So I'm getting the sense that for a lot of you, you're not going to care what this knight has to offer because it's too little, too late. It's almost like you're going to make your own opportunity now because you're tired of being disappointed. That's what you're planning in secret. Very interesting. If this resonated with you, please let me know what the situation is all about in the comments. Answer, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got something out of it. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video. Take care.